Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today this video is for you. Yes, this video is for you if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a uh, change in the jobs. Okay, you have a certification, you have a CISSP but there is no career progression. So how to make a career progression from the IT or core information security to the core information security governance. So this video is for you. Hey, my name is Prab Nair and for more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Okay, and if you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so the question, no, I always, always receive this kind of a queries on my LinkedIn, on my Insta that uh, Prab, I have a CISSP, I have a CSM certification, I have a CCSP, I have a CISA. But the desired profile which I'm looking for, I'm not getting that opportunity. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a, a PIM guy, privacy man, sorry, I'm a, a what you called, a, I'm into the PIM, PIM is called as a privilege identity management, or I'm into the VAPT, I'm into the, uh, you know, I'm into suppose IT, you know, and for just a interest, I cleared my CSSP, but I'm not getting an opportunity, okay, to work in the information security governance. Now, what is information security governance? In the information security governance, we have a different kind of a profiles. Like we have a risk consultant, we have a security consultants, okay, like policy making, policy formations, audits, so there are a lot of folks, okay, they do the CSSP, they do CSM for these kind of a profiles. But the current profile is only and only PIM guys, PIM head, IT heads, okay, they are into application security, they're looking for a career transformation in the information security governance, they're looking in a governance field, okay, they have created a CV also, they have updated the CV, they also update the certification, sometime what happened, they, they got a call also, but fail to uh, fail to get selected in the projects or fail to select in the company so how to handle this situation first of all any certification if we talk about cissp cism or c risk whatever certification we have no certification can give you 100% job that is the first thing certification is the only a uh, tool by which they can able to filter your cv okay and when you preparing for a certification that, that certification is basically give you the idea or it, it give you some kind of a benchmark of the information security. Example, like if I say CISSP. So CISSP give you the benchmark of the enterprise information security. Okay, where you're going, going to touch upon the areas like uh, risk management. Okay, then we have uh, application security, SOC and all that. So now you, you are in this position where you have an understanding of all the eight domain of CSSP and the four domain of CSUM or four domain of CRISC. Now what you have to do is, once you have a certification, okay, based on the certification, if you're going to update the CV, you won't get a job because even your CV get filtered and the, the, the person who's going to take your interview, definitely he's going to ask you some questions on those topics. See, book knowledge and the practical knowledge both are different. Okay, and we have a lot of arguments happen in the past in the LinkedIn. So that for sure. So you can able to even clear the first round of interview based on the concept understanding, like, you know, what is risk management? What is privacy management and all that? But what about when you handle the interview based on the projects? Okay, example, you are a security consultant company is not interested to go for the control acquisitions, how you handle the situation. Are bhai, I never worked on that area. How can I handle that particular question? So this is basically where the twist come. So my humble request to my subscriber, which is my, my family only, my learners, who's my family, I humble request you, when you clear your certification, whether it's a CISSP, CISM, or CRISC, one thing what you have to do is that build your network. The first step, the first step is build your network. Prab, what is the meaning of building your network? Let me explain you. See, suppose you are working for the big four. Just imagine you're working for the big four, like ENY, KPMG, PWC, okay, or you're working Deloitte or JP Morgan, any company, okay, which is into consulting. Now, what is your interest? Suppose your interest is you are into PIM, okay, where privacy identity, uh, sorry, privilege identity management, or you are into application security, 
and you would like to move to the security consulting you want to move to policy making you want to move to the risk management now here what you have to do is you need to do some initial investment prep initial investment what is an initial investment investment of friendship investment of social skill investment on the time management friendship prab what is this let me explain you see now i am a pim guy okay i am i am into the privilege identity management okay i did my cssv so called okay and i have posted also on linkedin thanks to almighty i cleared the exam okay now what next so what i'm going to do i will start making a friends in the governance area okay i have a division which is basically involved in the third party risk assessment or they are involved in uh, uh, consultings audits and everything okay see you need to keep your ego side why should i talk first they should talk first it's okay okay one day what happens suddenly you can go to their department you can sit with them understand yaar buddy yeah this is something is very my you know my area of interest don't show them okay i am cssp i am cism you have to mentally accept theory knowledge is different and project knowledge is different okay keep your certification aside keep your ego aside the first thing what you have to do is is make a friends okay in the governance area take them on a coffee okay yeah let's have a coffee today is my birthday you know i want to give you birthday treat and all that so this kind of a social bonding you need to build if you are a ic square member it mean you cleared your ic certification like cssp ccsp or you cleared your isaka certification like cism and cisa the first thing what you have to do is attend their chapter meets now what they do week on weekends they basically have this chapter meets where all the isaka member used to come in that area on that location and they discuss about some topics and all that there become a friends okay exchange the numbers build the community part of the community understand what they doing how they doing okay now example like today you are learning something called as a risk management okay now you i am assuming you become a friend of one person who is into the consulting understand from this perspective yeah in the book you know is saying that risk management is all about identifying analyzing mitigating do you have any reference you know how you handle this kind of a things so this is how you can able to okay share that information i'm not saying it is a one side it is both side because that guy has a practical knowledge but not a book knowledge okay and you have a book knowledge conceptual knowledge but you don't have a project knowledge so this is how you can able to uh you know involved in building understanding of the concept okay so that is a stage one which is called as a build a social uh, network and become a good friend of the governance people now i am in the impression you become a good friend okay and uh, you having a discussion with them about the projects and all that sit with them understand how the document works okay sit with them understand how the document works okay if that is they 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 are basically saying they are busy and all that pick him on a weekend call him on a weekend prab no one is basically free on a weekend come on they have a family time exactly you need to buy their time you have invested your 30 40000 or you have invested a 1000 2000 dollar on the theoretical training you can invest your 100 dollars 200 dollars okay tell him i can pay for your hours okay give me a 4 hour session i will pay you 50 dollars and in the 50 dollars just explain me how the process works so by this way we have achieved two thing one you won't feel like that okay he uh, you know i have used him or you know uh, i i have spoiled his weekend and all that so by this way we have achieved two thing one he got the prop, he got the earning for what he shared his experience and second is you get the information what you're looking for so second important thing go go for the paid trainings i'm not saying the institute even i am running a institute i'm managing an institute which is called infosec ten but in this video i'm not going to promote anything i'm just saying you have a certification now or you don't have a certification but you want to know the practicality of the information security governance consulting and all that pick the consultant check his work how he posting the content and pay for his consulting fees block the meeting and discuss with him so that is called as a stage 2 if stage 1 is fail then stage 2 is this by by making by paid him okay i'm not saying you should pay to the trainer you see his profile his experience in consulting his experience in ciso services okay 
only pay only basically to schedule the meeting with those people whose linkedin profile or his actual work look like a consultant okay not a trainer even i am a trainer 60% i am a trainer 40% i am a consultant till year back but today i am working as a vc so also for some of the services but it doesn't mean i don't have experience but it's all about the time so pick that consultant pick those people who are into this industry and schedule the meeting with them understand and pay for the fees simple logic so second step is schedule the meeting with those people and understand the process now third most important thing now you understand the knowledge you have a knowledge okay you have some idea about the about the project okay now third important thing accumulate all this information collect all this information that is the next important thing you have to do okay just create one artificial project create some uh, dummy projects okay if i am a uh, if i am running a company okay in the company i want to start information security what is a step okay that guy told me this is how we need to work because if you want to work in the consulting side you need to be very good in documentations you get paid for you what you document you get paid for what you communicate so improve your speaking skills improve your communication skills improve your writing skills how you write in email because by writing you trying to convince the management so you need to so start creating a policy okay the first step that guy told me to create a policy let me go to google and search for sample security policy sample information security manual sample information security control risk matrix controls i'm not saying you should copy paste but you can use those document for a reference based on those documents prepare your template so prab what is the next so you prepare the template when you start working yourself on those area you will get to know the gaps then research about the books okay like there is a book called as a security assessment second edition i will share it in a, my description box so security assessment uh, second edition it's a very good book which talk about how practically we can do risk assessment then there is a book called information security governance ciso tools toolkit guide very good book which talk about how to build information security in the organization then sari green information security policy very good book information security management sixth edition very good book these books will try to fill those gap but prab i already read cbk i read cssp i am cssp as i said cssp cism basically prepare you for the vendor neutral certification but what about beyond that okay there is a one book which is called as a network security by eric cole amazing book okay so these books basically fill those you know it will basically fill those gaps the knowledge what you have and knowledge what you want to achieve okay so in between that we have a project information my friend has suggested me but still some information is missing that information you will get from there okay so this is basically the next step so summary is that first you need to have a meeting you need to build the friendships with those people build the social networks second that is not happening the second is basically check the consultants who be, who providing the services pay them and understand how project works okay by this way both will get the benefits the third is basically refer some books refer some white papers or sorry build your own templates build your own policies see it is happen that prab i don't have any mastery in the policy making i don't have any mastery in the process making all that it is okay it will take one week it will take one month but once you made those template then same templates you have to use in the all the organization okay no matter tomorrow okay you can basically work as a freelance consultant so there is a lot of websites are there freelancer.com okay you can check there are a lot of freelancer websites we have where you can register yourself as a freelance agents and get some small small projects in a very small value so if some damage happen it will not have much impact you can return it back the money instead of doing the the project on a million dollars start with the small small projects prab it is i am working somewhere right so moonlighting see again it is just a suggestion i said okay so you can join some freelancer websites publish your certificates there okay show them i have experience okay you already have experience you have a knowledge right so take some small small projects in a small small value okay understand the problem statement what kind of a problem customer is facing what is the need of the customer okay you will get lot of freelance project on policy making and all that okay so based on the problem statement do the research okay build, build the policies build the templates okay referring other policy templates understand how it works what is this policy and this is how you can able to build your own templates okay now next if you want people should look for you not you you should look for the company 
start sharing your case studies i repeat start sharing your case studies okay on the social media so like example hey guys today i have completed uh, one project it was amazing learning we have started with the risk assessment then we we did the gap assessment example i'm giving so start sharing your case study in the linkedin with the hashtag see the next generation security consultant are those who can able to expose themselves on the social media what kind of a skill you have so there is a possibility some companies will reach out to you directly there's a possibility that uh, some companies will like your work and give you the new job okay so that is how it works and the fifth thing which i'm not promoting but that is how you can do that suppose in a current company apply for ijp now let me give an example you are in the one company from last 10 year okay you are the it analyst and recently you complete the cissp now you tried the ijp internal job post uh, posting whatever we have so through the ijp what you did uh, uh through the ijp what you did uh, you basically apply for the internal jobs so internal jobs you have applied one of the job was the security consultant now the the struggle the hard work what you did in past three steps that is a now time to apply that knowledge so based on that you able to crack the interview and you basically move to the department see here you can compromise on the salary part okay my suggestion is that go with the same salary okay and be a learner be a good listener you are not experienced guy okay you don't need you you are not moving for a argument when you move to the new department try to learn try to understand what they basically want to achieve okay involve be uh, you know part of some uh, you know work under some seniors understand how this works okay so be a good listener that's the most important thing you have to do now so i'm assuming now you have a internal position internal movement now what happen when you leave it will not count your one year of experience it will count your 10 year of experience because you already spent your 9 year in a it analyst in the same company so that is the advantage when i said so from there you get a experience you get a experience letter that basically validate your profile and the next jump you will get a better than your current salary so this is how things works nothing different and if you find this video useful do let me know what is the next video shall i make this video the reason behind to make this video is that i received lot of queries on linkedin prab i have certification what is next i have no idea so this can be the uh, information that you can use and according to that you can basically apply the knowledge do let me know how do you find this video okay team and if you new to my channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic my name is prab nair i am your friend thank you bye